Happy Sunday. Happy, happy, happy Sunday, guys. How you doing? How are you doing? You ready to learn about some Oklahoma? Ready to learn about moving to Oklahoma? Ready to learn about pros and cons of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma for 2023? If that's what you're learn wanting to learn about, that's what this video is all about. How's your guys' no-shave November doing, huh? How's your guys' no-shave November doing? It's uh, November 2022 when I shot this video, and it's all about the 2023 moving to everything you need to know uh, well what you need to know pros and cons about oklahoma city let's uh let's get into it but before i do i got to make sure to keep my team busy my the team of real estate agents that i work with the xp realty we're absolutely here to earn your business guys i'm a real estate agent i help people buy and sell houses the team of agents that i work with we help people buy and sell houses and land we also have teammates that do commercial so if you got any of those needs and you're thinking about oklahoma city you absolutely got to give us a call shoot us text, send me an email. My email is down in the description or even book a Zoom call with me if you want down in the description. The team of agents that I work with, we're absolutely here to help you with your real estate needs. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to blow you away with this pros and cons list. You're going to be like, what the heck is Josh talking about? Well, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. Pro number one, free firefighters. What? Free firefighters? Like, aren't firefighters free everywhere? Nope. Uh-uh. Not in... Not in rural Oklahoma, they're not. Not in rural Oklahoma. So the great thing about Oklahoma City is it's huge. It's huge, guys. And there's places that seem rural. They're not really rural because you can get to Walmart in 20 minutes. But they seem royal, rural. The cool thing about it is it's covered by the Oklahoma City Police Department. You go to real rural areas outside city limits, you've got to pay an annual firefighter fee in Oklahoma. Do you know that? Did you know that? Bet you didn't know that. So the great thing about Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, buying what seems like rural in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, is you still get the Oklahoma City Fire Department's help. You absolutely do. Okay. So that's pro number one. Con number seven. <laughs> that was con number seven. That was pro number seven. Now, now con number seven. Turnpike will take your land. Damn skippy it will. Darn skippy. I didn't mean to say that. Darn skippy it will. So you go Google Oklahoma Turnpike taking land, you're going to get tons and tons of results because the Oklahoma Turnpike is taking people's land. <laughs> so you want to pay attention to the Turnpike when you're buying rural in Oklahoma City because where the Turnpike could be, you need to be aware that you may have to sell your property to them. There, there's lawsuits going on right now over it. So, okay. So if you want real rural, you don't want to worry about the turnpike. You got to go, got, go get out of Oklahoma City. There's still parts in Oklahoma City that you could get that feeling. There is. But we just built a bigger turnpike around the whole metro area now. So, of course, population densities increase over time. I think we're up to 8 billion people now. 8 billion people now, folks. That's a lot of people. And God ain't making no more land. The last flood, he raised the ocean levels 400 meters. He's not He's not making any more land. He's not. What we got is what we got. Okay? So con number seven, Turnpike will take your land. Pro number six, big trash pickup once a month. Now that's awesome. If you're in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City limits, and you get big trash pickup once a month, that is going to be huge for you folks. Huge. Because I mean, if you've just got that little blue cart, Every week, every now and then, you're going to have an excess number of boxes, you know, birthdays, crazy holidays, stuff like that. And they aren't all going to fit inside that blue little container. Or it's Oklahoma. You're going to have windstorms, hailstorms, ice storms. You're going to have some sort of storm and a ton of branches and stuff. It ain't going to fit in that little bitty cart. Once a month, Oklahoma City does big trash pickup. Huh? Big thumbs up for that. Big thumbs up for that. Okay. I'm number, uh, con number six, OKC Thunder, they're only ranked 12th in the Western Conference this year, the 22-23 season, they're only ranked 12th in the Western Conference, so don't know how it'll play out. We always pray for the best, but right now they're only ranked 12th, so you sports guys out there, um, good thing for you, maybe the tickets will be a little less expensive, I don't know, maybe, maybe. Pro number five, pro number five, Oklahoma City, yes, you can have chickens, yes. Now, there are terms and conditions that apply. I believe it's uh, six chickens per yard. So terms and conditions apply. So, But you can have chickens now in Oklahoma City. So if you want to get your own 
eggs straight from chickens who get to roam in your backyard and get all the ticks and fleas and insects and stuff like that, help you keep your garden clean, folks, you could do it here in Oklahoma City. Huh? Big, big thumbs up for that. Who doesn't love getting fresh eggs every morning or fresh eggs every evening? Thumbs up. You can have chickens in Oklahoma City now. Con number five, the weather, folks. Man, if you got trees near your house, trim them. Trim them. We got windstorms. We got hailstorms. We got ice storms. We have tornadoes. You guys, don't don't let tree limbs hang over your house in Oklahoma. There's insurance companies that will literally drop customers that we've helped buy and sell houses because we're real estate agents. You got to give us a call, shoes, text, and email when you're moving here. We're moving within, uh, even when it comes to commercial land and homes. But there's commercial, there's insurance agents, insurance companies that will drop people if the tree limbs are too close to the house. That's how big of a deal it is here in Oklahoma. So the weather is extreme. In the summer, it can get so hot that if you don't have your AC on, it will literally melt the glue on the windows. Okay? It'll get that hot, guys. Okay? All right? All right? And in the wintertime, ice storms occasionally happen. Those trees will snap and fall on your house. Keep the trees away from your house. The weather, yucky, yucky. Good. So that's a con number five. Pro number four, cost of living, 16% lower than the national average. Now, depending on what website you look at, that number is going to fluctuate. It's absolutely going to fluctuate. But guys, it's affordable. It When gas prices are like they are, when food prices are like they are, and you need a little bit of breathing room, Oklahoma City and Oklahoma in general, 16% lower than the national average. That, what could 16% do to your family budget, to your roommate budget, to your budget as a person? What could that do? Okay. So to keep in mind, depending on what website, that number up and down, but average 16% lower than the national average cost of living. Con number four, skunks and armadillos. Man, if you got dogs, if you got dogs and a skunk gets in the yard and they get in a fight, that dog is going to stink. And if you got an inside dog and it gets sprayed by a skunk, guess what? That inside dog just became an outside dog until it don't stink no more. You're not going to want that dog in your house if it just got sprayed by a skunk. And then armadillers, hey, a lot of people don't like them. I don't mind them except when they get in my backyard with the dogs. And then the dogs, they eat them. And then I have to pick up dead armadillers. And that's gross. If you've never had to pick up a dead armadillo because the dogs ate it, it's disgusting. Like I wanted to vomit. Like to tell you the truth, my wife actually did it. And I, I was still so disgusted from it that I almost vomited. I, it was nuts. Dude, the armadillers are great. They eat the ticks. They eat grubs. They eat all those things. They sort of aerate your yard too. But if the dog gets a hold of them, ugh, gross, yuck, yuck. And then, and then if it hides like near the chicken shed or something, and the dog tries to tear up the chicken shed, so annoying. So annoying. And then skunks. Like I said, if your dog gets sprayed by skunks and they're inside dogs, they just became outside dogs. Sucks for the dog, sucks for you, but it's gross. Skunk spray is gross. Yuck. So skunks and armadillos, con number four. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. Thumbs up if you're liking this video. Put your comments, put your pros and cons down below too. If I miss something, if something you think I say is crazy, put it down there. If you've got questions about things I talk about, questions about relocating here, moving here, whatever, put them down in the comments or call, text, and email me. That's what I'm here for. Pro number three, housing cost is 27% lower than the U.S. average. 27% 27 lower than the U.S. average. My amazing friends from the Navy, they're always telling me how amazing the houses look here and how inexpensive the houses look here. And and since I live here, I I, kind of, and I lived in other places too, I kind of understand what they're talking about. But every time people come here, they're like, oh, we get so much more for our money here. Oklahoma is ranked fourth lowest in housing cost across the nation. Now, our homeowner's insurance is way higher because of our weather, but the housing cost 27% below the national average, guys. You could get some beautiful homes here in Oklahoma, and that's what my team of agents that I work with, the XP Realty, and I are here to earn your business on. Con, num con number three. Con number three. Now, even though Oklahoma City lets you have six chickens, uh, per, um, per household in Oklahoma city now. And there's different terms and conditions that apply. If you've got a five acre track in Oklahoma city, different terms and conditions. But if you've got a regular home in Oklahoma city, you can't have roosters. You can't have roosters and you cannot have more than six. Now guys, my family and I, we got six. 
plenty of eggs. We we have plenty of eggs. We're able to give guests eggs when they come over. We have plenty of eggs. Six chickens will give you good eggs. It absolutely will. But if you're a family of like six, seven, eight, or you're like trying to pump weight to get really strong and stuff and you want lots of eggs, six chickens probably won't cut it. So side note, you can only have six chickens and no roosters. Who needs a rooster anyways? All they do is terrorize the chickens all day. Pro number two, Oklahoma. Uh, this is the whole state, actually. This isn't just Oklahoma City, but the state of Oklahoma brought in $108 million in medical marijuana sales tax revenue last year. That's huge. That's awesome. You know what that also means? That you can get a medical marijuana card if you meet the terms and conditions, and you can enjoy something that's natural that grows in the environment in the comfort of your own home, privately. Just like people can go get liquor and drink liquor all they want, you can get a medical marijuana card and enjoy medical marijuana. So something to keep in mind. That's another pro for the state. Con. Whew. This airport, even though it says Will Rogers World Airport, um, it only hits 28 major cities direct flights inside the continental United States. It only hits 28 cities. Um, shoot me a text, send me an email, let me know, and I'll get you that list of cities so that you'll be able to see that list of cities, but um, only 28 major cities that it hits, it doesn't go, you got to do a lot of connecting flights. So if you're in a business where you're flying a lot, pay attention to that. You'll want to know that up front that you may have to do more connecting flights, which may take you longer, make you wake up earlier, make you arrive home later. Okay. So keep that in mind. And the number one pro that I could think of for 2023 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma metro area is um, we do have travel casinos. Now, I don't think there's any travel casinos actually in Oklahoma City. I think they're all around Oklahoma City, but you can go to tribal casinos within less than an hour drive anywhere in Oklahoma City, probably less than a 30 minute drive anywhere in Oklahoma City. So keep that in mind, too. We do have the casinos. So if you like the uh, the um, the what is it, the concerts, if you like the fancy restaurants, if you like all the things that come with the casino, you don't necessarily have to like gambling, but if you like all the other things that come with it, the concerts, the fancy restaurants, the events, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we do have casinos here in the Oklahoma City metro area. And then con number one, and this is what I'm gonna leave it at today, guys, is uh you're not here yet. Or or if you are here, we haven't had a chance to talk yet, guys. Team of agents over at EXP Realty and I, we absolutely want to earn your business when you relocate to move to Moon Within, Oklahoma City, and the Oklahoma City metro area. So if you're thinking about moving to Oklahoma City, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We want to help you make that decision and, and we'll give you information. If you decide Oklahoma City is not the best city for you or this Oklahoma City metro area is not the best city for you, we're going to give you all the information to make that decision, guys. That's what we're here to do. We want you to be super excited when you move here and when you close on your home, new home. And then if you're also already living in the Oklahoma City metro area, we help people that live here too, guys. Give us a call, shoot us, text us, email, homes, land, or commercial. Team of agents that I work with, XP Realty and I, that's what we do. We want to earn your business. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy this channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my other new videos. And then, uh, oh, thank you so much uh, for the shout out. Yes, there are only pros moving to Oklahoma. Uh, <laughs> Miss Natasha. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Only pros when you're moving to Oklahoma, Miss Natasha. Thank you so much for that shout out. All right, guys. Till the next video. Keep it real. And I'll see you on the next video. I'm trying to find my end of screen now because I don't already have it pulled up. Where is, here's one. Here's a good one. <laughs>